your fun fam welcome back to my channel if you are new here then stick around see if you love me and if you do then subscribe and turn the notification bell if you are not new here then welcome back thank you for being here thank you for loving me as much as i love you and let's get right into today's video in today's video we're going to be talking about how to actually increase your lead generations for your business using social media for those that don't know i am a social media manager i run a social media manager agency and i also as of recently started working full-time working in the social media marketing space as a social media marketing manager so what i basically do is help businesses build their community and utilize organic growth in order to build their their brand their brand awareness and help move that needle for their business i told you guys i was going to bring you guys more social media and and stuff like that Related to my expertise and bring that to the channel so that's what we're doing and i wanted to start by just simply talking about how to increase your lead generation on your social media so if you're somebody who struggles with you know po you're posting content you're being consistent however you're not seeing clicks you're not seeing consistent engagement you're not seeing that turn into conversions and that's what we're going to talk about is increasing your leads which in turn will increase your conversions sales clients all that good stuff so the first thing I'm going to say, which I feel like is something that's like obvious, is what everybody says, which is get active. And when I say get active, I mean that in more than ways than one. One, I think you need to be utilizing whatever social media platform you're using, utilize every avenue of that platform. For example, we're on Twitter. Twitter is my favorite space. You need to be doing more than just tweeting. You need to be tweeting. You need to be getting involved in spaces. You need to be joining groups. And when I say groups, I do not mean engagement farm groups because we are anti-engagement farm groups around here. But you do need to be involving yourself in there's these little lists and things like that where you can have targeted actual tweets where specific kinds of people are actually seeing what you're tweeting and vice versa so you want to get involved in those and you want to use all the different avenues and features that twitter has to offer the same thing with instagram when it comes to stories as well as utilizing live stream all that other stuff utilizing all the things that these platforms have to offer so get active so when i say get active i don't just mean post a lot i mean get active in the platform because the more that you're active in any social media platform the more that social media platform boosts you pushes your content in front of new individuals the second thing is to not just post but to post content with purpose after this video i'm going to record a video about how i like plan my clients and my own content for the purpose of you know moving the needle building the community and all the other stuff is that every time you post content when you have you know you plan out your content for the week the month, bi-weekly, however it is that you do it, I do suggest that you do plan it in advance, but however advanced you want to make it, you want to create it with a goal in mind. What is it that after the end of this campaign, you want people to do? If you're trying to get more clicks, then you need to start posting content that is going to make people want to click. What is it that you're saying? So for example, you sell shoes. Let's say you sell shoes. You don't need to just be posting about shoes, but you need to be posting any, something that evokes emotions about the shoes that you wear. What vibe comes with it? What kind of person wants to wear these shoes? What kind of message are they sending? What fashion industry or like fashion placement are you in and who does that apply to? So you want to create content that evokes the things that's going to make people click, not just displaying the product. Everybody does that and it makes you seem like, you know, a dime a dozen. But if you want to show your value, then you need to differentiate yourself from the others by posting content that gets people excited about your brand and gets people interested in you yourself and wanting to support you. You guys know what we have. Every vibe has a tribe. And if they fall in love with you and they fall in love with your business, that's what we say over here at Cherishing Flow Media. For those who don't know, that's the business name. Third thing is kind of in relation to get active, and that's to talk to people. When I say talk to people, I mean run your mouth. If you're anything like me, you might like to talk. <laughs> I do like to talk. So get on social media and start talking. If you're on Twitter, reply to a bunch of people. Talk to them all day. Build relationships and connections. I now have people who I actually consider my friend, my home squibs on Twitter, my home squibs on Instagram, and all that other stuff. And when they have when they have questions related to social media, they come to me. When they are interested, when somebody they know needs social media help, they refer them to me. Those connections are long-term opportunities. Because if you solidify yourself in someone's mind as the person that they know that does A, B, and C, then anytime that comes across, their desk and you're going to be the first person they think of and the first person they come to and that means that you're going to be the one that if you're selling shoes and somebody's in need of shoes you're going to be the first person that pop in mind like oh girl i know i have a homegirl whose shoes will go great with your outfit i have like all that kind of stuff you want somebody talking about you so you build those connections so that you're the forefront of somebody's mind when it comes to your industry the second thing that it does is it helps boost you in the algorithm for all platforms if you have if you have set connections so every time you're posting every time you're putting something out there there's the same people coming back for murder social media tells me those type of people and people connected to them want to see the kind of stuff that you have to offer and so it puts you in front of more people it builds your brand so from the personal perspective as well as the social media marketing perspective you want to make sure that you are somebody who is 
talking to people, starting conversations, building connections and stuff like that. It also helps solidify you as a real person. People don't just want to sell to, don't want to give their money to just companies. They're wanting to give their money also to people, people that they want to support and that they want to see succeed. Number four is personalize your CTAs. This is something that I feel like is individualistic. I feel like it goes into a whole lot of making your brand more personable so that people want to relate to you is, you know, utilize CTAs and not just like, hey, click in the bio if you want this or like, oh, hey, buy this for me, purchase for me, buy, purchase, sell, book a call. Get specific about your CTAs. Do stuff like that makes people think like, hey, like, how could this help you or how could I help you and how could this make your your life easier? What outfit do you have that this could fit? Like stuff like that, you know, like utilizing CTAs that one starts a conversation and two makes somebody think like, oh yeah, this is how I could use this. This is how I could use this. That makes them want to click. For example, using myself as an example, I'm a social media manager. I give some sort of educational, valuable post and put it on Instagram. And then I ask, in what ways can you utilize this to help propel your own brand forward. And then people see that, it's like, oh yeah, she knows what she's talking about because I can use this tip to do this. I can use this tip to do that. And that by itself has led to people wanting to work with me because they see that I know what I'm talking about. They see that what I do actually makes a difference. It matters. And it's something that they may not have thought about before or thought they didn't have time for before, but I explained how they can make time. And so they want to talk to me about how else I can help them doing stuff like my coaching calls my social media audits because not everybody needs a social media manager but see people still may need me and my expertise for other things for them to utilize themselves so yeah you want to be sure that you're utilizing personal ctas that gets people not just not just you know clicking because you said to click but also thinking and leading and those thoughts leading to them clicking on their own tip number five is to give value that directly correlates to your offer a lot of people like they give value but the value that they give while it's it's valid and you want people to see you as an expert in your industry you also want to make sure that your value that you're giving directly correlates to what it is you're offering so yes if you're a fashion whiz you should know every you you should know about fashion drop that knowledge about sweaters and t-shirts and and this and different outfits but if you sell shoes and you're only talking about outfit ensembles then while yes you have solidified yourself as somebody who understands the fashion industry but you have missed the mark on understanding why you are the go-to person for shoes I keep using fashion as an example despite the fact that fashion is like something I know absolutely nothing about but <laughs> I digress but um that's but I just use it for an example because it's the easiest thing for me to use if you sell shoes then you want to give expertise on why not just that you know fashion because you do but also why you know shoes specifically how you can match shoes to outfits how you can match shoes to a feeling how you can match shoes to a vibe that you're trying to give off all that good stuff a lot of times when I buy clothes it's because of the vibe that I feel like the clothes is going to give off that matches me and my personality and who I am so you want to make sure that the, the value that you're offering isn't just random value within your industry you want the value to be directly correlated to what it is that you do for other people so I think that to me is like in the way that niching down actually becomes valuable because it's not just you know you're targeting a specific person but you're making sure that it's understood that this is a specific thing that you are fire at and you want other people to see it understand it and get involved in it those are pretty much all my tips for right now. If you guys have any specific questions and you guys want me to break down even deeper, one, put them down in the comment section down below. But two, if you want a real breakdown and you want it to be individualistic, then make sure you book a discovery call with me because while right now I don't think we're really accepting new social media management clients, I am still taking on social media audits. And those social media audits allow for you to get breakdowns of your specific social media platforms and how you can grow and things you're missing the do nots that you're doing and the do's that you're not doing like and all that good stuff and it gives you pretty much a laid out plan in a via document and in that plan you basically have a step-by-step -step process as to what you need to do to grow on whatever platform it is so if you're interested in that or if you want a coaching call i those spots are super limited like literally Four calls are available each month at a time simply because of how much effort comes into it on my side and I also have a lot of other stuff that I'm doing. So to be on the phone for an hour every day is not possible, but there are going to be a certain amount of spots limited per month. So if you want to book a coaching call with me, that's probably the cheapest thing with the most value that I offer. So if you want to do that, please, like I said, go to the description box below and all the links for all of the things will be down there. If you made this point in the video, then you love me, right? You love me? I know you do. So go ahead and subscribe and turn the notification bell. Make sure you stick around. Ask the questions so that I can be giving you guys the exact things that you guys want to know in the business sense. Make sure you follow me on my socials, Cherishing Flow, on everything. And then if you guys want to get to the business side, it's Cherishing Flow Media. I love you guys ever so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video.